Let us learn how to solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. We're going to look at what a quadratic equation is. We're going to examine the steps that are required to solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. And then we're going to apply those steps in solving some examples. So a standard quadratic equation is written in the format or in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Important thing to note is that a must be non-zero. So it cannot be equal to zero. And then using the standard quadratic equation, the quadratic formula is going to be x equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now we're going to examine the steps. The first thing you want to do is you want to write the quadratic equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 and then compare against the quadratic, the standard quadratic equation then you can get the values for a, b and c and then plug in those values in the standard quadratic formula. Some call it the magic formula, but we'll just stick with quadratic formula. So we will plug those values in this equation and then we will solve. So let's look at some examples. We have 5x squared plus 6x plus 1 equal to 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare it with ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. So we can see here comparing them we can see that a is equal to 5, b equal to 6, and then c equal to 1. And our quadratic formula is x equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So now we're going to plug these values in. So x is equal to minus b, so it's minus 6 plus or minus the square root of b squared is 6 squared minus 4. a is 5 and then c is 1 divided by 2a, so that's 2 times 5. So this is going to give us minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 4 times 5 times 1 is 20 divided by 10. So this is going to give us minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 16 over 10. This will give us, let's come right here. This will give us minus 6 plus or minus, or let's make it x equal to minus 6 plus or minus 4 divided by 10. So now we have two answers. We have x equal to minus 6 plus 4 over 10. This is going to give us minus 2 over 10, which is minus 1 over 5. And then x here is going to be minus 6 minus 4 over 10. This is minus 10 over 10, which is equal to minus 1. So therefore, so therefore x is going to be negative 1 over 5 and negative 1. Let's try another example. We're going to compare against ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. So a equal to 6, b equal to 7, c equal to negative 3. So now let's write the formula here. x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So let's plug this in. So x equal to minus 7 plus or minus square root of 7 squared minus 4 times 6 times minus 3 
over 2a, so that's 2 times 6. So this is negative 7 plus or minus square root of 49. 4 times 6, that's 24 times negative 3. That is negative 72, but you have a negative negative, so that's going to be plus 72 over 12. So this is negative 7 plus or minus square root of 121 over 12. Let's take it this way. So x equal to minus 7 plus or minus 11, because the square root of 121 is 11 over 12. So x is going to be equal to minus 7 plus 11 over 12 x is also going to be equal to minus 7 minus 11 over 12. So let's finish this portion. Minus 7 plus 11, that's going to give us 4 over 12, which is 1 over 3. And here we have minus 18 over 12. You divide this by 6, you get minus 3 over 2. So therefore, x equal to minus 3 over 2, and 1 over 3. Let's try another example. We're going to compare against ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. So we can see that a equal to 6, b equal to 11, c equal to negative 35. And we know that x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So now x equal to minus 11 plus or minus square root of b squared, that's 11 squared minus 4a6, and c is minus 35. And then you divide that by 2a. So this is going to give us minus 11 plus or minus the square root of 121. So there's a minus here and there's a minus here. So it's going to be a plus. 4 times 6 is 24 plus 35. Let's do that quickly. 24 multiplied by 35. So that's 0. 12, we have 0 here, so that's going to give us 0, 4, and 8, so 840 divided by 12, so this is going to be minus 11 plus or minus the square root of 961 divided by 12, let's bring this up here, so minus 11 plus or minus 31, this is x equal to, divided by 12. So now we have two answers, x equal to minus 11 plus 31 over 12, and then x equal to minus 11 minus 31 over 12. So this is going to be 20 over 12. If we simplify this, we have 5 over 3. And then x here, this is going to be equal to minus 42 over 12. You simplify, you have minus 7 over 2. So therefore, our answers are x equal to minus 7 over 2, and then 5 over 3. Now, a final example. We're going to compare against ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. a equal to 9. We don't have a b, so we'll make it 0. And then c equal to negative 64. Our quadratic formula, x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. 
So now we have x equal to negative 0 plus or minus square root of 0 squared minus 4 times 9 times negative 64 divided by 2 times 9. So this is going to give us 0 plus or minus square root of 4 times 9, 36 times 64. So let's look at this 36 times 64 divided by 18. This is going to be 0 plus square root of 36 is 6, square root of 64 is 8. So 0 plus or minus 48 over 18. So let's finish this up here. So x is equal to 0 plus 48 over 18. And then x is 0 minus 48 over 18. So this is 48 over 18. And this is going to give us, you divide by 6, you have 3, you have 8. And here you have minus 48 over 18. You divide, you also have minus 8 divided by 3. It's not a negative there. So it's just divided by 3. So x is going to be equal to negative 8 over 3 and 8 over 3.